hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video i'm going to show you how to solve cambridge igcse ict exam this is paper two and we are going to solve document production task okay for this task you have been supplied with the following source files so you should check your folder to ensure that you have all of these files in your folder task one evidence document open the file j2421 evidence.rtf okay let's open the file okay enable editing Make sure that your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. Okay, so we are going to insert header. Name, center number, and candidate number. Save this document in your work area as evidence, followed by your candidate number, for example, evidence 9999. Okay, so we need to receive this. As evidence. And then change the file type to Word document, then save. You will need your evidence document during the examination to place screenshot in, in when required. Okay, task two. You're going to edit a document for Tawara Tots Child Care. The company uses a corporate house style for all their documents. Paragraph styles must be created and applied as instructed. Using a suitable software package, open the file J2421 Child Care. Okay. Child Care. Child Care. Okay, this is the file. Okay, so this is the file we are going to be working on. The page setup is set to A4, portrait orientation with 2 cm margins. Do not make any changes to these settings. Three paragraph styles have already been created. Do not make any changes to these unless instructed. So let's check the paragraph styles that has been created. Okay, so we have these three that has been created, body, subhead and table. Save the document in your work area with the file name nursery. Okay, so we need to save the document with the file name nursery. Change the file format and then save. Make sure it is saved in the format of the software you are using. Place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved. Make sure that there is evidence of the file type. Okay, so we are going to take a screenshot of the file we have created. Okay, this is, this is it. Okay, for the file type, I'm going to adjust this so that it's, it's visible. And then I'm going to take a screenshot. And this will be placed in our evidence documents as evidence one. Place in the nursery document a right aligned header on a single line. Okay, and we need to place this followed by a space, then your name, center number, and candidate number. So we need to place this right aligned 
in the header. Okay, I'm going to remove this, remove this, place this, followed by your name, center number, and candidate number. Okay, this appears on every page. A left aligned footer with automated page number. Left aligned footer, so insert footer left aligned automated page number current position okay let's check that it's on all pages okay that's correct and make sure that all the header details are on a single line all the alignments match the page margins no other text or place order are included in the header or footer areas the others and footer are displayed on all pages. Okay, this has been checked. Okay, create and store the following style, basing it on the default or normal paragraph style. So we need to create a new style called TC title. TC title. Click on this letter new style and then name it tc title okay this is already this is paragraph style but it should be based on normal then the font style is serif and the font size is 32 serif that's times new roman and the font size is 32 Alignment center aligned, bold and italic. It is center aligned, bold, italic. The line spacing is single, is zero space before, six space after. Okay, the line space, click on format, paragraph. The line space is single. Okay, zero spacing before, then six point after. Take a screenshot to show that you have defined the settings for the TC title style. Make sure that there is evidence that you have based this on a default or normal paragraph style. Place this in your evidence document. So we're going to take a screenshot of this. And then place this screenshot in our evidence document. This is done. Apply the TC title side to the text Tawara taught child care. Okay, the style we just created, we need to apply it to the title Tawara taught child care. And then just double click on it. Select the subheading staff and the following text up to and including the paragraph ending enjoy their new surroundings. Okay, so let's find the paragraph ending enjoy their new surroundings first. Okay, so find. Okay, so up to here um, the title. We need to select from the title staff. Okay. Okay. So the title staff up to up to this point. Change the page layout so that only this text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a one centimeter space between the columns okay so page layout columns and then more columns two two centimeter spacing
sorry, one centimeter space, not two. One. And that's it. Okay, name the style name TC subhead has already been created, stored and applied to the five subheadings. Modify the TC subhead style so that only the following formatting is applied. Okay, so subhead, right click, modify. So the font style is sans serif and the font size is 14. Sans serif is Arial. The font size is 14. The alignment center, italic, bold all caps. The alignment is center, italic, bold. Okay, there is no underline. And then all caps formats fonts all caps and then we have line spacing single zero space before seven space after format paragraph line space single zero space before and seven point after okay so that's done Take a screenshot evidence to show you have modified the TC subhead style and the settings applied. Place this in your evidence documents. So we're going to take a screenshot for this. Then OK. Now place this in our evidence documents. Okay, that has been applied. Now, apply a number list, a numbered list, formatted as one to seven, to the text from communication and language to heart and design. Okay, we need to apply numbered list. Where is the text? Okay. up to here okay numbered list one to seven okay make sure make sure that the numbered numbers are aligned to the left margin of the column they are aligned so right click paragraph indented zero okay the list is in single line spacing with no space before or after each line okay single line spacing right click paragraph again single line spacing no space before and then no space after. That's done. There is a seven point space after the last item in the list. Okay, so what we need to do is place your cursor here. Right click, paragraph. So seven line space after. Seven points, sorry. Okay, so we have seven point space after. Import the image J2421 logo and place it in the paragraph beginning. We have eight spacious room. Okay, let's find this paragraph first. Okay, here. So we need to insert the image.
Rotate the image 180 degrees with the image size and aspect ratio maintained. Okay, we need to rotate this image 180 degrees. So just come here, click and rotate. Um, rotate 90, rotate 90. That's 180 degree rotation. Okay, format the image so that it is aligned to the right margin and the top of the paragraph starting with we have eight spacious room spacious playrooms the text wraps around the image okay so it needs to move to the right side okay so i'm going to um wrap this uh, and then i will move it to the right side okay that's it Locate the table in the document. Format the table so that the table width is set to 13 centimeters. The table. Okay, so this is the table. So you right click and then table properties. So the table width is set to 100, um, 13 centimeters. So we check this and then place 13. And then OK. All the rows are set to one centimeter I. All the rows. So we go back to the table properties. All the rows. Okay, so preferred height one centimeter. The data is vertically aligned. Sorry, the data is center aligned vertically in each row. It is center aligned vertically in each row. So we need to go to layout and then ensure that it is aligned vertically and centered. Okay, that's it. The table is centered within the page margins. Okay, so we just need to put it center aligned. Okay, that's it for task 9. Okay, spell check and proofread the document. The list and tables are not split over columns or pages. There are no windows or orphans. There are no blank pages. The original styles are maintained except the TC subject styles. Style change in step 6. All styles are applied consistently. Spacing is consistent between all items. Okay, so let's check if there is windows and orphans. Right click, paragraph, and then, okay, this has been checked. Then, okay, no windows and orphans. Okay, then the next we need to change, um, check the spelling. Click on review, spelling and grammar. Okay, ignore. 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 Okay, so that's it. And we're done with what document task. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe.